Bow, bow, bridge, radio check. I can hear you loud and clear. You can remove your headline, please. Copy that. After such a long time in lockdown, we're now finally out at sea. Uh, and it's an incredible feeling to be on transit, to have the ship sailing again, to hear the engine running is amazing. And it also signals that we're ready to go back out on campaign. Our ships have had this time to repair themselves. And now we're looking forward to the future and heading back out on campaign to protect ocean wildlife. On the Sam Simon, the repairs, the, the upgrades that we did can only happen due to the donations. We really rely on the general public to keep our ships running, to keep our crews happy and fed, to keep our ships out at sea. And I can tell you that we're very excited to be heading back out on campaign. When lockdown came, we weren't expecting it. It wasn't part of the ship's plans to, to have that, that time in port. Even though it slowed us down in the short term, I think in the long term, it's uh, gonna benefit the vessel and our campaigns. We're lucky enough to meet up with the Bob Barker, uh, with Captain Byron Carter and his crew who are also preparing to head out to sea to go on campaign. The Sam Simon has just arrived in Las Palmas. It's really great to see her here. It's, it's not often that the two ships are together. It marks a special moment. It doesn't happen very often. It really feels like now we will be moving forward. It's an opportunity to, to share a beautiful moment together, to to recharge our batteries, to, to energize ourselves for the, for the coming campaign. We're all really excited and, and looking forward to getting back to sea and doing what we love and defending and conserving the oceans. Sea Shepherd has been focusing on illegal fishing. Uh, the long hand is illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. And it's a huge issue on the world's oceans. Uh, we're up to as much as 20-25% of all fish caught is illegally caught and in places where we work, like West Africa, it can be as high as 40%. So for me, uh, a critical issue facing the world's oceans uh, is fish and how much we're catching. And if we can't keep track of how much we're catching or heaps of fish is coming into the market illegally, it will have huge consequences for humanity and the planet in general.